Mima Uvibia Kwaba Eba Juicy News, Hot News All Time, Latest and Hot News at a day Bremo. A year MPP, one of former women organizer, and a former gender minister, a year Utiku Jaba, on also Wakasa with the NCB and Pia, or Tresa, Yeme Koso Abao, Nibo and Uso, now a barbon team at the NCB Abab Tuga. Now answer the call as seven moon. Mr. Sir, someone subscribe to the channel. Mr. Sir, over subscribe. Or click the subscribe button on the bell notification. We are a new video. Be aware of you. Also, what's a ever can be. I feel we are now like a video. My thumbs up. Now, if you watch it, I'm a good so in your be a fit. I feel you call a similar move. In your name, Utiku Jabba, visa or no cane on an agenda minister. On our sooner, a year, no matter the uncle before the appointing, he said, Uncle Italy as an ambassador. I will see a year, they pay our rigid year. Was you see the waiter from active politics. Now, now we are to have him somewhere across on your day in the boat and you sweet in the barber team at the end. Send the Brinara about the people. Obekaya, a year school feeding, Kitris. When the boot up for your say, whenever call strike. Emma, when the Sika, Aku Kema, buying to meet you when Sika, I did be our one year demonstration the other day. Then, no, now Kenya, a year with Tiku Jamba Fisa, I'm on a barber on Tiddy in some other people, chess and a banner should sit up. It's not about breaking the eight. The false self can be near. A cell ban out in the solve problem. Now, what the insemo to that? Now, you share a year story at the property of far and semi year with Tiku Jabba Eddie Batuja and owner a war who screen is so or say, Sit up with Tiku Jabba descends on government. Now, you share the details of the story in call a sibling move. Now, Osha in the world screen or say, former gender minister under the new patriotic party. Otiku Efisa Jabba has called her government about what she says is the apathetic out, outlook. I mean, some Fabio, over what she says is the apathetic outlook they are portraying despite the current state of the economy and the outcry of Ghanaians. Just a Ghana for a soon Yemen Koye Moshe, I said, the former Ebu Nebu Wanasu, one in Pese, one in the Ghana for a canoe. No say, according to her. Ghanaians entrusted their lives and future in the hands of the ruling government when they decided to vote for the MPP in 2020 elections. And therefore, it falls on the government to sit up and do better with its decisions. What's the kind of what to about Eddie Amomo? Eddie Amomo, Eddie MPP 2020. Now, Eddie Amomo, I said, yes, sir. 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 Ebe Magana, Etimi Ejidan, and now so. Now, what was what I say? Her comment comes on the back of an outcry by some caterers in the Ashanti region who have expressed displeasure about the delay in their payment of the arrears and the 97 pesos granted to children. Nini Ejidan, here, caterers here, when you see a Kokemo, a man, a delay, a one person, a bit here, when you buffoo here, when you call here, Ashanti regional minister, she knows, I mean, sir, a pamu will feel what I'm going to say, one for one, and you're here. No, and I'm a Tiku Jabba Babu Tin Eh Kasa. I say, I am very angry with my government. That issue, like this, in terms of caterers, prompt action is not being taken. What you say, your caterers, for instance, because you accept by Kenya, my minimum year and ten times so are a Tini, a Tia Wanisika, a Mawa. Now, yes, Sam Ren, with the tea and some a year of Tiku Jabba, a little bit of a bell could be where GTV. Now, you see, some summer caterers who send me bear moon our days and some in a tuga. Yet here and some a year, Utiku, Jamba, Eddie Tuga, a bra, Ukupi, or a year, GTV, Yenti, Nain Serono. What's the cause of your unhappiness with your party? That um, issues like this, in terms of the caterers, prompt action is not being taken. When one million people put their so they, are, they give their will to you, their votes. You must do the right thing by them. This is not about politics. This is about the development of the people, with the people, giving them the necessary information. Where you cannot meet them, talk to them. They're human beings, they will understand. Because the MPP is a listening government. These are serious times. And we need serious decisions and actions to be taken. The world is not only in Ghana. Food prices is the same everywhere. The economic crisis are like that everywhere. But why are you a leader? You are a leader to solve the problems. 
I want to see my government that I believe in to sit up. It's not about breaking the eight. It's about solving the problems of the people of Ghana. That is why you are elected. I have nothing to be peeved about. I have so much joy for my party. And I'm very proud of them. But we must be serious. And so the appointees, the ministers must understand that it is a privilege to be in this position. You will never get it again. Out of 30 million Ghanaians, you have been offered the single opportunity to take Ghana to the next level. Let's die trying. Let's put in the structures. The fight that we fought during the campaign, let us reignite it. And Ghana and the people of Ghana will understand that. We are serious about their development. And we will win back their trust. Take the apathy out. Yes, there are issues. Which life hasn't got issues? But it is our time to get it right. And we must die getting it right. That is why we were elected. And that is why I am so angry. And I want all the ministers and all the appointees and everybody that believes in Ghana to get angry enough. And the government should not take it as uh, that somebody is shaming them all. Criticism is good to propel you to get it right. And the people of Ghana are waiting for the government to do the right thing. And by God, if we are alive today, let's do everything that we can. All the challenges are opportunities for us to think outside the box and get it right. Ghana deserves it. You and I deserve it. I want to say to a boy cry. <laughs> because, eh? Peace. 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 I am 61. I want to see a Ghana that I can believe in. A Ghana that my children will want to be proud of. My great-grandchildren would want to. That is why I spend so much time in uh, rural development. And, I, and you are, look at the hours you come here. All the workers in Ghana are fighting for what? For Ghana to be developed. We want to see Ghana going to the moon. We want to see our, all our streets start, the water, and all of this. We want to see Ghana, the beautiful Ghana that we dream of. And I say that it is possible. What were the terms of the contract that you signed with these women? And why are we now seeing the agitations? Because the financial side has not been met. Oh, the agitations is not today. They've been there a long time since uh, school feeding started in 2005. The objective of school feeding is to increase enrollment and promote attendance of school, malnutrition, and create wealth for the caterers, for the farmer, for the trader, to change the whole community. This was towards the Millennium Development Goals and now towards the Sustainable Development Goals. And so when you fast forward to 2017, when I got there, they were being paid 80 pesos. That was small. So under my uh, administration, we went to fight for two cities, and the government agreed to one city. And then there was a tax of 30 pesos. So they are being paid 97 pesos for hot, nutritious meal. In 2018. 18. It's impossible from 80 pesos to 97 pesos. It's ridiculous. Nobody can cook any meal, let alone a hot, nutritious meal, for 97 pesos. So, of course, they will agitate. The other part of it is that, like I told you, when I became a minister at the beginning, they came to demonstrate against me for their payments. So it's, this is nothing new. If the contract in the school feeding is that you cook for one term, so pre-finance it for one term, then you are paid so that you can pay the people that you've borrowed monies from, like the banks or microfinance, uh, people that you've gone to credit, uh, pepper or salt, the people who cut the onions to pay them, you know, they will work in lieu of payment. Uh -huh. So when you get the money, you go and pay all these people, and the little money that is left, you then use it to cook again. And so when the government owes them, not only one term, sometimes two terms, some of them three, four terms, it's difficult for them to get money to cook. And then the people they've credited all these things from harass and humiliate them. The indignity. These are change makers. These are women who have looked for this as a job opportunity. I'll tell you that over 80% of those women, caterers today, were employed under my administration. I had the 
uh, opportunity so you to feel employ them. Somewhat responsible. Oh, I do. For I feel welfare. extremely responsible Is for them. Is it distressing for you then that knowing that it's your party in power mm -hmm. and it is your effort that brought 80% of these people mm -hmm. on board, mm -hmm. and to see that they are not being paid what is due them? Yeah. Are you making any steps to to get some? Speaking to people to make sure that some funds are released and, yeah. the, and they are, they are attended to. Talking to, to you, aren't I? Mm -hmm. I issued some statements as well that government minister of the president should direct the minister of finance to pay them immediately. I've made phone calls. It's not here that I'm going to talk about those things to ensure that they meet with the caterers. When a, a child is agitated, you must talk to that child. In this case, the caterer. They have rights. They are a workforce, they are part, we just celebrated May Day, they are part of the workforce of Ghana. And they are only 20, now they are about 30,000. The workforce of Ghana is no more than 13 million. And then workers not paid every day, every month. These are workers who are supposed to be paid at the end of a term. And they owe, they are, the government owes them. So the government has abrogated the contract. And once you are not paying them what you owe them, and the amount you are owing them to is an insult, in my opinion. It's ludicrous. I will use this platform to say that the World Bank, the Common Fund, the National Lotteries, uh, Social Investment Fund, the World Food Organization, and the government should find five CDs per child. Prisoners are being paid one CD, 80 pesos, for their meals. High school, SHS, they are getting five CDs, 20 pesos. It's an equal pay for the same type of work. And these, we keep saying, the future leaders, they should eat nutritious meals. And it is not possible for anybody to cook any meal for 97 pesos. Yeah. And when you owe somebody, you should talk well to them. I'm also giving a be careful to the secretariat. They should not threaten anybody. The school feeding caterers are change agents. They are assets to Mother Ghana. And it is because of them that the National School Feeding Secretariat was set up for them to monitor the caterers and ensure that they are doing their work, they are cooking when they should, and that it is nutritious and it is fulfilling the goals for which it is. It is not nyamesom. It is not a favor. It is a contract. And they must be respected. And nobody should threaten them that if you don't cook, we are going to take your school. If you don't come to work, you go on strike. Are you sacked? Strike is the right of any worker in this country and all over the world. And so let us respect the caterers. Let us appreciate them. We should not undervalue them by paying them 97 pesos. What does that mean? If you give them decent meals, it's like a man. When he gives you chop money, good chop money, you give him the sway of the chicken. But if he gives you small, small money, that is the value of his money or of you you will cook uh, the kind of food that he cannot eat and so let us stop pretending to pay the caterers so that the caterers will stop pretending to cook let us be serious in this country Ghana is 66 years and women are extremely 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 i repeat extremely important to the development of this country Honorable. just a minute if we continue to hold women back with an equal pay, if we continue to hold women back with abuse and disrespect, I am telling you this, the development of Ghana will never be the way we want it to be. I am where I am because I am a woman. I enjoy being a woman. I have fought a good fight to be a woman. It is not easy to be a woman. It is not easy. When you are a woman, you have to work extra hard. Just a minute. And so... When we fast track to 2023, the time has come for us to give women a seat. And women, if they don't give you a seat, take your own seat. Fight for your rights. Ensure that the way we bring up our children, that is the way we bring up this Ghana. Women have been too quiet. We cannot allow this country to go to pots. We must fight to bring up our sons and daughters to appreciate the value of the woman. We must ensure that those of us who are alive today, we do the right thing by Mother Ghana, by doing the right thing by women. If you don't do the right thing by women, you will never develop. Go and see Rwanda. 
go to the Europe, wherever, like Switzerland, they are treating women well. You see the development. The time has come for Ghana, as we say in Chi, let's treat women well. Let's educate them. Let's stop uh, abusing the school feeding caterers. You, how can you feed uh, prisoners with one CD 80 pesos and say that uh, future leaders, future leaders, and then you are giving them, uh, how much is it, 97 pesos? Why? It is ridiculous. It is ludicrous. It's unacceptable in this day and age. Let us call a spade a spade and do the right thing by Mother Ghana. And my government, I'm very angry with them. So I was about to ask, yes. someone would be listening to you and the person would... Uh interpret your your actions and your strong words against your own party as a sign that perhaps there's trouble in paradise is there where is paradise Ghana is suggesting... not a paradise so we are working towards the paradise what's the relationship between you and the party today you mentioned that you voluntarily <laughs> retired yes you were offered an ambassadorial position yes. to italy yes. you declined it yes it's my Why? right it's my right why did you decline? I'd worked for 16 years. I have four children. I was waking up at 2 a.m., 5 a.m. to go to work all over the country. I became an absentee mother. I have the right to spend time with my children. It's the best thing that ever happened to me for me to decline going to um, Italy. Italy. And the best thing that ever happened to me to come out of development and go to work in politics. Because I told you I was working in 98 communities. It would have been impossible to achieve all these things that I have told you. So I am very grateful to my party. I knew nothing about politics. Actually, I didn't like politics. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> and uh, I had to go and work uh, with them to be the parliamentary candidate. They chose me. Can you imagine? It was such a privilege. Unfortunately, I lost. So what's the problem now? Nah, listen eh. Then I came and uh, they asked me to become women's organizer. Some didn't like it. We went for a contest. Would you believe it? Me, who doesn't know anything about politics, had no money. I won. Not once, two times. Thank you, MPP delegates. And then, to my surprise, when we won the election, I was put at the Ministry of Gender. It's an honor that they have done me. I cannot be peeved. I can hear I the left, passion yes, when you talk I about the issues. I love my party. And yet you will, we have, uh, you ah, I just told you I retired because I need to take care of my children. Okay. And my former husband has stroke. And I take care of him. And going away was not an option. And to be honest, I was tired. You know, me, you know, when I do something, I don't do it by halves. My soul, everything is inside. <laughs> and it's, I told you, it's like a fever. I was possessed. Mm. I'm so passionate about Ghana that anything that I'm doing that is about Ghana, I can't sleep until I achieve it. And that is my worry with my government, that it is the best government for Ghana. And by the grace of God, one million votes, we were brought to be the government of the day. Let no minister or uh, what you say, CEO or any appointee think that it is because they are special. It's the grace of God that gives you the opportunity. You can be president. You can be the minister of finance, the cameraman, anybody. But the people gave their will. Yo, Ejevua Wini and Samuel Ye, Utiku Jaba, former gender minister. Ni Samuel, you two guys are working to say, I am very angry with my government. To say, we heard you, my Ekosu, and I'm going to say, you're going to say, you're going to say, you're going I don't know about the thing, some of the two are in the air school feeding, caterers are buying the car, are buying per se, or the Or say it's not about breaking the age. As a leader, it's about solving problem. Now, when the ensemble will be in the two jar, we take a job at FISA. You will take for me, I will say, subscribe to the channel. Now, this is a over subscribe, or like it now, if you watch it, I'm a full for so any be a share. Also, meeting me at share what they have for a year and some of you know, I will comment boxing. Mobate, me can be you. In my next video. Thanks for watching. Like and share the video. You can also drop your comment. Please don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell to turn on the notification.